So a while ago I bought some of these Bocono Game Center Volume 2 models, or my arcade. They're really cool and everything, and do look really nice, but unfortunately they don't actually play games. You could just change the screenshots in and out with a bit of card. But now I got hold of this. Yeah, to be honest it is a lot bigger, but it is still very small compared to a real arcade machine. In fact, it's minute compared to a real arcade machine. This is the uh, Let's Play Game Machine 108 in 1. So let's take a look at the actual um, cabinet itself. So on the front, we got the joystick here. We got um, some buttons, we got A and B buttons. We got a select, pause, and another button, which doesn't seem to do anything. Around the uh, back of the machine, we got a speaker hole. There's also one on the front, and we got a power on and off, and the battery compartment, which thankfully wasn't screwed down. I hate the way they put screws in everything these days. And we got a volume control on the side. So what sort of games does it play? Does it play real arcade games? <laughs> I wish. No, it plays more like Famicom clone games. So let's take a look. So we got a typical Famicom clone style menu system here. So let's take a look at a few of the games. Let's start off with uh, F22. Now I am very surprised that the controls are responsive. I mean the joystick is tiny on this thing. In fact it's pretty much uh, impossible to hold it with two fingers. You've got to um, sort of put your thumb on the top of it like an analog stick on a modern console. Yeah we've got a pause button there that works. Not all the games pause mind you. Okay, let's take a look at this game. This is Ball Brothers, or Brother Balls was that. This is quite a unique little title, and um, quite fun actually. The idea of the game is pretty simple. Uh, you have your three balls which are joined at the bottom, and what you have to do is shoot one of the balls up into the air to capture the, um, well, I guess your friends, which are sort of popping out of the little holes at the top of the screen. If you catch them, they join you. Maybe they're meant to be ducks. Here we go, he's captured and he's off. But you've got to be careful because if any of the flying objects uh, touch the ball that's shooting up, or as you can see there, your friend which you just captured, then they take them off and slaughter them. Well, at least that's what I think they do. Very simple, but a pretty interesting game. Okay, let's take a look at this one. Uh, Dejectile. Actually, this is a Bomberman clone, and not a bad one at that. It seems to be based more upon the Super Famicom Bomberman games because you can actually scroll the screen. By the way, I must apologize for the picture quality here. Unfortunately, my camera lens doesn't zoom in far enough and stay in focus for such a tiny little screen. So I had to sort of digitally zoom the video. Uh, I'll have to get a macro lens one of these days. Okay, let's take a look at another game on the collection. As you can see, it's just a pretty basic um, scrolling racing game. Pretty fast, mind you. And the graphics aren't too bad. Definitely a um, Famicom uh, Nintendo Entertainment System quality, though. Okay, next we're going to take a look at this weird game where you have to... Um, I don't know what you're meant to do really, I think you meant to just shoot the demons at the top of the screen. Very strange. Yeah, basic uh, title there, The Archer. Yeah, you don't seem to do much except to shoot the demons at the top and jump over these um, white ball things, whatever they are. Yeah, 
reset that. Okay, I want to take a look at our 3D game here. Kind of looks like Space Harrier, but um, you control a cursor on the screen and shoot things down. Unfortunately, I can't see a single thing I'm doing here. Because the screen's so tiny, it's very difficult to see some things. And uh, in this game's case, it's very difficult to see the cursor. Okay, let's do a bit of sports action. Now, I'm not sure if this is actually ripped from um, a real Nintendo game. It probably is. I mean, I'm not the biggest um, Nintendo Entertainment System fan out there, so I don't really know much about the games. But this looks a little bit too professional to be some Chinese hack together jobby. Um, hang on a minute, how do I throw the javelin? Uh, okay, let's see, you press the button to run, yeah, that's right. And I guess it's the other button to throw the javelin. Um, uh, maybe not. Uh, maybe use the joystick, let's have a check. Okay, let's check it with the joystick. Uh, ah, that's it, you, you uh, have to push right on the joystick to throw the javelin. Let's see, am I going for the world record? Ooh, maybe not. Oh well, we set that. So actually, there are quite a few sports games and they all seem to be based on the same uh, game. So I think what they've done is taken levels from an existing game and split them up and actually put them onto uh, this uh, actual system. Surprisingly though, none of the games have uh, doubled up on it though. There is actually 108 separate games. Yeah, some of them are clones, got Bubble Bubble and Tetris clones on here, as well as this uh, Space Invaders clone. So you might be wondering where you can buy this little device. Well, actually I bought this one from Amazon Japan, and I've actually seen these type of things on Amazon in the West as well but they look like Western arcade machines. With the machine comes this uh, manual. Uh, basically tells you what all the buttons do. And it gives you a list of the whole uh, collection of games, what all 108 of them. You can see all the sports games there. So yeah, I mean, for the price, I think it was like 2,000 yen, maybe a bit less actually. It's a nice little novelty.